Coming up on 5-Minute News. At least 20 dead as millions endure record cold without power. FEMA opens mass vaccination sites in bids to reach communities of colour. And Boeing backs Trump airplane emissions rules challenged by US states. It's Wednesday, February 17. I'm Anthony Davis. A winter storm that left millions without power in record-breaking cold weather claimed more lives on Tuesday, including three people found dead after a tornado hit a seaside town in North Carolina and four family members who perished in a Houston-area house fire while using a fireplace to stay warm. The storm that overwhelmed power grids and immobilised the southern plains carried heavy snow and freezing rain into New England and the Deep South and left behind painfully low temperatures. Wind chill warnings extended from Canada into Mexico. In all, at least 20 deaths were reported. Other causes include car crashes and carbon monoxide poisoning. North Carolina's Brunswick County had little notice of the dangerous weather, and a tornado warning was not issued until the storm was already on the ground. The National Weather Service was very surprised how rapidly this storm intensified, and at the time of night, when most people are at home in bed, it creates a very dangerous situation, Emergency Services Director Ed Conroe said. The worst US power outages were in Texas, affecting more than 4 million homes and businesses. More than 250,000 people also lost power across parts of the Appalachia, and another quarter million were without electricity following an ice storm in northwest Oregon, according to PowerOutage.us, which tracks utility outage reports. 4 million people lost power in Mexico. The Federal Emergencies Management Agency has opened up its first COVID-19 mass vaccination sites, part of the Biden administration's efforts to speed up immunizations and to reach communities of colour that have been disproportionately harmed by the pandemic. FEMA's first mass vaccination sites opened on Tuesday morning in Los Angeles and Oakland, California. The site, set up in the heavily Latino East LA as part of an effort to reach communities that have suffered disproportionately, aims to vaccinate up to 6,000 people a day. Another such site opened at the Oakland Coliseum, near black and Latino neighbourhoods in the northern California city. The openings came as the US is ramping up its vaccination drive. The country is administering an average of nearly 1.7 million doses per day, according to the CDC. At the same time, coronavirus deaths are down sharply over the past six weeks, and new cases have plummeted. The Biden administration intends to establish 100 federally assisted vaccination sites nationwide in cooperation with state authorities. The Los Angeles FEMA site is proximate to a community that has been disproportionately impacted by this pandemic, Gavin Newsom, the California governor, said. The effort here is to address that issue forthrightly. Still, public health experts warn it's far too early to declare the virus is on the wane. For one thing, they are worried about the more contagious variants that are taking hold. Boeing on Tuesday backed the first fuel efficiency standards for new aeroplanes finalised by the Trump administration in its waning days that a dozen US states have challenged as too lenient and that President Joe Biden's administration is reviewing. The largest US plane maker asked a US appeals court in Washington for approval to intervene on behalf of the Environmental Protection Agency, which is being sued over its decision to finalise the first ever standards regulating greenhouse gas emissions from aeroplanes. The plaintiffs, 12 states, the District of Columbia and three environmental groups, want tougher emissions rules. 
Aeroplanes have been the largest source of transportation greenhouse gas emissions not subject to rules. The plane maker argued that it is essential rules be reasonably achievable given the billions of dollars it costs to design, build and certify new aeroplanes. Attempts to overturn regulation directly aligned with successful cooperative international efforts to combat climate change, supported by more than 190 countries, will only discourage future international agreements, Boeing said in a statement. In January, the Trump EPA said it did not expect the rule to result in emissions reductions and did not project it would cause manufacturers to make technical improvements to their aeroplanes that would not have occurred otherwise. The Environmental Defense Fund has said the EPA's do-nothing rule is totally inadequate in light of the climate crisis. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news. Daily.